こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Jordan, I've been working on improving my English speaking skills, but I feel like I'm not making much progress. What strategies can I use to enhance my speaking ability? Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, 
exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. Absolutely, Alex. Enhancing your speaking skills involves a mix of practice, exposure, and active learning techniques. Let's break down some effective strategies that could help you improve. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. 
This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. That sounds great. Where should I start? First, immersion is key. Try to surround yourself with English as much as possible. This could mean listening to English podcasts, watching English movies and TV shows, or even setting your phone and computer to English. The more you hear the language, the more naturally it will come to you when you speak. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, 
you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, 
you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. I've been watching movies and shows, but sometimes I find the speech too fast to follow. That's a common issue. You might start with English subtitles to help bridge the understanding gap. As you become more comfortable, you could switch to English subtitles less frequently or try shows targeted at a younger audience, which often feature slower and clearer speech. Another effective method is to watch the same episode or movie clip repeatedly until you fully grasp the dialogue. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. 
Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy. Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. How about improving pronunciation? Pronunciation can be improved by mimicking native speakers. This is where listening carefully to podcasts or news channels comes in handy.
Pause and repeat what you hear, trying to match the intonation and rhythm of the speakers. Apps like Pronunciator or websites like Youglish can help you practice and hear how words are pronounced in different contexts. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? 
speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. What about actually practicing speaking? Speaking practice is vital. Language exchange partners can be a great resource. Platforms like Tandem or HelloTalk connect you with native speakers who are trying to learn your language. It's a win-win situation. You can also try speaking aloud by yourself. Describe your actions throughout the day in English or even narrate stories or events to yourself. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. 
Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. That sounds good, but I feel nervous about making mistakes. Remember, making mistakes is a crucial part of learning. Every mistake is an opportunity to improve. Instead of fearing them, embrace them. You might also consider joining a speaking club like Toastmasters, which is a supportive environment designed to improve public speaking and communication skills. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking.
Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Do you think writing can help improve my speaking skills? Absolutely. Writing can help you organize your thoughts and build your vocabulary. 
Try keeping a daily journal in English or writing summaries of the movies or books you enjoy in English. This exercise will make it easier to express these thoughts verbally when speaking. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator.
Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Any final tips on staying motivated? Set clear, achievable goals. Maybe start with small, daily speaking tasks and gradually increase your challenges. Celebrate small victories. Maybe you learned how to pronounce a difficult word correctly or had a short conversation with a native speaker. Tracking your progress can also be a great motivator. Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck. Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck. Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck. Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck. Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, 
and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck! Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck! Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck! Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck! Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck! Thanks, Jordan. These suggestions seem really practical and helpful. I'm looking forward to applying them to my daily routine. You're welcome, Alex. Consistency is key in language learning. Keep practicing regularly, and you'll see improvement in your speaking skills over time. Good luck! の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。